Rocky Hill Memorial. The idea for the memorial was conceived by the people of Goulburn in 1918, even before the war had ended. They were like many others in small towns across Australia. They sought to remember those who'd served, and in particular, those who never came home. More than 330,000 Australians served overseas during the First World War, and more than 60,000 never returned home. For those who lost loved ones overseas, and would likely never visit their actual graves, the memorial served as a substitute place to grieve, a place to remember when they had no body back at home to grieve with. The tower, um, committees made decisions about what the shape of a memorial might look like. And in the case of Goulburn, they've chosen this beautiful tower. In other towns across Australia, you see other representations, other memorials. Some are in the shape of soldiers, Others are more practical memorials, like a town hall or a swimming pool. Decisions were made, and arguments in some cases were had, about whether a memorial should be a practical thing, something for the living, or something that would remain forever a memorial for those who have died. In the case of Goulburn, as we can see, they've chosen a memorial tower. Inside, the Roll of Honour lists the names of those who served from the district, and also those who died. The men who died are marked by a cross next to, next to their name for those who were killed in action, or a dot for those that died overseas of other causes, wounds or illness. Can you just start by telling me why you decided to volunteer for the museum? Because I believe that this sector needs volunteer and uh, with uh, just limited funding and lots of expenditure um, because of maintenance and preservation. Uh, so volunteer and donations have become an essential part to keep this memorial alive in every general area like this. And also Rocky Hill War Memorial and Museum is the icon of Goldburn. People love it for its historical significance and uh, its beauty. So, yeah, I decided to volunteer here so that I can be connected with the community through its history. What do you think brings people to visit the Rocky Hill Museum? Um, yeah, this museum is very busy throughout the year. We have almost 22,000 to 25,000 people um, coming every year. Yeah, they come from Sydney, Canberra, regional New South Wales or other states or even across the world. Yeah, so um, I think they come to commemorate and uh, we have people throughout the year to commemorate and also on Anzac Day they come and commemorate, they show their respect but I also think that they want to know more so this museum is pretty rich it, um, it has objects of World War I, World War II, World War, Vietnam War Have any stories or objects in the collection that you find particularly meaningful or interesting? I find the two cannons in front of the uh, museum, very interesting. Um, actually, they were captured during World War I. One, one from France and one from Palestine. And uh, they came, these two came to Goldburn in 1920. That's wonderful. Thanks so much, Kenneth. That was really that. Was